Football season is back here at Bridgewater. Coach, we haven't gotten to talk to you yet this year, so just speak a little bit about your team's outlook heading into the season, how camp's been going. Well, we're all, I'm always optimistic when I haven't played anybody, but, but I do. I think we got a good group. I, I think we had a young uh, speed to the program. Anytime you put fast people on the football field, you have a chance. And certainly, uh, haven't been here since August 10th and working you get to a point where you just need to play somebody that has a different color jersey and helmet on and we look forward to that opportunity on Friday against Gettysburg. And looking at each side of the ball offensively you guys return you know a lot of speed on the outside return your running back have two quarterbacks back who should be healthier now have a year in the system so it seems to be a lot of positives there what's your outlook on the offensive side of the ball? Well I think the Last year was the transition year, you know, with the new defensive coordinator, that, that took some adjusting. Uh, you know, we made a radical offensive shift into what we had done for 21 years to switch over last season, and I think by the end of the year we kind of found our stride. You know, I've been encouraged by what's happened here in the summer. Uh, I think we look like uh, people that are kind of, kind of comfortable in our own skin. And you're right, uh, in Brendan Metery and Jay Scroggins and actually you know, Jeremy Ropes, and all three of those kids, I came out of the preseason game where they all played feeling I could beat a good team with any one of those kids. And, and a year ago, at one point in the season, we needed all three quarterbacks, and we didn't necessarily have them all ready. So I think that's always optimistic. Uh, you know, Mally Barker can be a special back in, in Division Three. Uh, you know, losing his running mate, Gary Boxley, the injury, that, that hurts us. I mean, that, that was a critical loss to us over the summer. So we have to have young kids step up. But I do think this, um, I've got quarterbacks that have the arm, and, and you mentioned it. I do have perimeter speed. And certainly when you can keep the field spread and, and make a defense defend space, that always gives you a chance. And that's kind of where we are offensively right now. And you talked about needing to find some more spots on the offensive line, but you do return the entire starting left side. Have people stepped up now? Do you think you're ready to go on that part? Well, I think Coach Lem does a great job with those kids. I mean, we're going to have to count on two young people in backup roles. And I think the, it's a universal problem in college football. Everybody's going to be a little bit short in the offensive line. I might have a big team, but I'm like an NFL team in the offensive line. I have about eight or nine guys that I have to take into a game to cover every spot and that's one of those positions where you got to keep your fingers crossed and hope we do stay healthy and stay keep continuity because next to the quarterback position those group of kids have the most to learn and it probably takes the most development to be an effective offensive lineman at the college level uh, and Jacob Heaton uh, you're right we've gotten great leadership and him and Kevin and Adam those guys have played a lot of football and, and you're right uh, we have size and some experience on the left side of the line that I'm sure we'll go to in, in need. And defensively, it seems like there's a lot of experience coming back on the defensive line. There seems to be a ton of talent in the secondary. You know, maybe the top two expected linebackers didn't return to school, so maybe that's where you need to find some new contributors. Just what are we looking at on defense coming you know, into I mentioned that in the, in the preseason to somebody. We're kind of we've got the we've got the top and the bottom. We got to fill the get the filling in the cookie. And but I do think this uh, defensively, we have uh, experience and depth in the defensive line. You know, it's been our experience competing against those guys in the summer is that we see the fastball in every play. And my hope is, is that for our offensive kids, uh, though a lot of respect for Gettysburg, maybe it'll slow down a little bit on Friday night because they've had to go against good people. And I think any time you can get control of the line of scrimmage on the, on the defensive side of the ball, you negate speed and assets on the offensive side in a very subtle manner. I think in that sense... Uh, we look forward to being able to pressure quarterbacks without necessarily having to blitz. And, and if we do, uh, we have experience and speed in the secondary that can make plays and run down mistakes. Um, my thought is, having competed against those guys, I think you know we're, we're running better. Uh, I think getting used to Coach Everett, his philosophies and his terminologies, I, I think much like offensively, I think we're ahead of where we were a year ago. And by the end of last year, we weren't bad. So my hope is momentum just takes over and starts this Friday. And Coach Everett in that defense will be very important in this season opener against Gettysburg. Last couple of years, it's been three completely different games, you know, very close game two years ago. Um, then they came here, uh, or excuse me, three years ago, two years ago, they came here and you know, really were able to run the ball. Uh, and you know, ran away with that game. Then you guys went there and you know, beat them emphatically at their place, and it seemed like you know, your defense had really schemed well uh, for that wing option that they run. And, and, you know, so how do you guys think, you, you know, what are you looking at for this weekend? Well, I think Gettysburg, we know what we're going to get. Uh, Barry's been there a long time. I want to say this might be his 38th year. Uh, they're an experienced staff. They, they compare a lot to WNL. They don't beat themselves. 
They're going to come in here and be sound. Uh, my hope is, you're right, defensively it takes discipline. It has to be good. You have to be disciplined. You've got to be able to tackle in space. Uh, my hope is is that our offense, if we can do the right things a year ago, if you remember, it was explosion plays that got us big plays. We got Keith Jennings isolated a couple times on the, on the right matchup, and we got them a little bit behind. Um, the offense that they run, it demands discipline on defense, but it also is one that if, if we can get them behind a little bit, uh, might not be the best catch-up thing. It's based on option football, which early in the season is always a challenge defensively. But I also think, too, Jimmy, a little bit what we're doing offensively it's kind of prepared our defense. We're doing some of the similar things, and unlike a couple of years ago where they did, they came in here and rolled us, had over 500 yards rushing, if I remember correctly. But it's also, you know, our defense had to go out in three or four days, try to prepare for a spread option offense, and you know they've seen that a little bit from us this summer. So I hope there's a little bit of carryover and. They're maybe not chasing. They had to chase fast people in the summer too. So my hope is they'll be ready on Friday. Yeah. Now with Devontae Womack back, you guys have an ODAC MVP sprinter on both sides of the ball. Well, I, I said uh, when in doubt, uh, if you have to choose between the fast guys and the big guys, take the fast guys every time and and, and place your bets. And, and that's what we're trying to do really on both sides of the ball. So 7:30 p.m. Uh, we'll have our new tailgating for the first time. So hopefully that will bring some more fan atmosphere this year. It should be exciting. Certainly looking forward to a big crowd. Well, I just think it's, I'm glad for our students, you know, to get them back. And, you know, my hope is we only got four home games. Uh, I'd like to make it a show. You don't have to be a football fan to come out. It's, it's an event about Bridgewater. We just happen to be a headliner a little bit on this area. And I think it's a, a great window for the college. And, and I hope we represent us well. And we'll, we'll provide some exciting atmosphere for the people here on Friday night.